take a look inside a Navimar server, we see that it contains multiple nodes and switches. All these components operate together as one server. For this reason, it is called a multi-node server. There are two main types of nodes, utility and storage. At the bottom of the rack is one utility node. This node is dedicated to providing internal Avamar server processes and services, such as the scheduling and management of backups, external authentication, and web access. The hostname and IP address of the utility node is the identity of the Avamar server for access and client server communication. Above the utility node are multiple storage nodes. Notice that they have more disks than the utility node. This is because these nodes are dedicated to providing backup storage and keeping all the chunks of data organized. When backup data is sent to an Avamar server, it is distributed across the storage nodes and protected by parity data. Storage nodes can be added to a server to increase its capacity. An Avamar server can have anywhere between 3 and 16 active storage nodes. A spare storage node is also often included in a configuration and can be enabled in the event of a node failure. An Avmar server is often referred to according to the number of active storage nodes. For example, this is a DS12, meaning it has 12 active storage nodes. If two more storage nodes are added, it would become a DS14. At the top of the rack, there are two internal switches. These switches provide communication between all of the nodes in the Avmar server. Each node is connected to both switches so that a switch failure does not result in a loss of communication. Another type of Avmar server is the single node server. In this configuration, one node performs the roles of both the utility and the storage nodes. Because data is not distributed across multiple nodes, as it was in the multi-node server, the failure of a single node server will result in the unavailability or even loss of data. For this reason, a single node server must provide some other means of data protection. It must either have its data replicated to another Avmar server, back up its checkpoint data to an integrated data domain, or use RAID 6 protection, as in the Avmar Business Edition single node server.